hi in my previous video i just showed how to use freehand sql in web intelligence so this video is all about advanced options that you can place on the freehand sql data source so i just created a report on freehand sql by passing simple as sql select statements and i'm going to edit query there i can see a different options so in this pane you can see a query properties so as a administrator or developer we can use these query properties to restrict your data size so for example this query name is uh, which you can define a query name and connection as i selected a connection from this list of connection i can see the connection name and the details and here max rows retrieved all right so max rows retrieved in the sense so if your data source producing 10000 records but you want to access 5000 so normally uh, they will not say like that but uh, due to performance issue if they want to access certain set of data then you can <coughs> click this check box to add the numbers here so it is going to filter only that much number of records and you can specify how much time it is going to take to retrieve the records in case we are selecting more number of records like a million billion sizes then it may need more time to retrieve the data as it needs to connect to the data sources if it is a direct sap hana or sap bw kind of data sources then it will easily fetch if it is a third party data sources then it will be taking a time based on the rfc connections that you have configured all right you can specify the time so at, until that time it is going to try and fetch the data so these are the two properties which you can define and in edit sql you can place all the sql statement functions like a var function group by function and even you can do some uh, data manipulation functions as well all right so once you have uh, done the changes you can click this uh, result query and as you can see there is no data so because so we just filtered 100 records right and the max retrieval time is zero so i'll just just uncheck this so now it is going to trying to fetch the data from database layer so as we are not defined the time it is going to take a own time and it is going to fetch the data so previously it was zero so because of that it is uh, showing me uh, showing the um, zero records so here you can see uh, duration is 3 seconds so as you can see here it is showing partial results as the overall results at uh, size is different as we filter only 100 records it is showing partial results this, this is just for uh, identification purpose all right thank you